Today we will be learning two mitzvah. The first mitzvah is the mitzvah of Birkat Kohanim, the priestly blessings of the Torah tells us, et b'nei Yisrael. So should you, the Kohanim, bless the Jewish people. And then come the famous words, Yivarechecha Hashem, V'yishmerecha Hashem should bless you and protect you, etc., etc. Although this is a mitzvah for the Kohanim to bless the Jewish people every single day, however, for a number of different reasons, they accepted custom in most Ashkenazic communities outside the land of Israel, it's to only bless on the holidays on a, on a Yom Tov. However, many um, Sephardim who generally go by the ruling of Rabbi Yosef Cairo, also known as the Bet Yosef, so they will, even outside the land of Israel, the Kohanim will bless every single day. There are many stories told of um, different Torah giants and rabbis who wanted to initiate because of the great merit and the great mitzvah of blessing from the Kohanim every single day, they wanted to initiate that it should in fact be every single day, even outside the land of Israel. But mysteriously, just at the last moment, something occurred which prevented them from doing so and they took this as a mysterious sign from heaven that it was not meant to be. There are stories told of the Alter Rebbe, of the Vilna Gaon, of a student, Reb Chaim Velozhin. Birkat Kohanim is done by the Kohanim go to the front of the shul, they face the community, and with their talit, after washing their hands, they have their talit over their head, and they put their hands like this, and they raise them up, and they bless, they say after the Chazan, and they bless the Jewish People. The Zohar tells us three things about Birkat Kohanim. Number one, that since the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, is represented by the Ten Fingers of the Kohanim and it actually passes through their hands, so at that moment one should not be looking at the Kohanim. The Zohar also tells us that since the Torah gave this commandment specifically to the Kohanim, so for someone who's not a Kohen, to put their hands like that and to utter the blessing, it would actually have the opposite effect. And the third thing the Zohar mentions is that at the time of Birkat Kohanim, it's actually, someone should be there, have like awe and fear of heaven, and it's a special eight ratzon. It's a time of goodwill where blessings are showered upon the world and there is no judgment at that time. For the second mitzvah, we have the mitzvah mentioned in the Shema, V'hayu l'totafot b'ni necha, the mitzvah of tefillin on one's head. And the verse translated, V'hayu l'totafot b'ni necha, it should be as an ornament in between your eyes. The reason why here the Torah uses the interesting word of totafot Rashi tells us it's actually a combination of two words, tat from the language called katvi and pat from the language called afriki. Both of these words mean two. The Torah here is alluding to that the head tefillin have four parchments in, in four different compartments. And in each one of the parchments, it's another section in the Torah which discusses the mitzvah of tefillin. And tomorrow we will discuss more about this mitzvah gondola.